Hello, precious lambs out there today. I'm going to read you a wonderful devotional passage with a scripture from a devotional book by Tina Plackinger called Treading on Serpents for those that are being bullied, gang stalked, and harassed. So I'm going to pray a scripture and pray a little short prayer for all you wonderful lambs that are being persecuted everywhere in the world by your persecutors through any different types of modern day slavery programs or outside of modern day slavery programs throughout the world. So I'm going to be reading a passage from the devotional of Tina Plackinger's uh, devotional book called Treading on Serpents on February the 2nd. So I'm going to start from reading a quote and then a passage and then a prayer. I mean a scripture and then I'll pray at the end. To win battles, you do not need weapons. You beat the soul of the enemy. General George S. Patton. So that's a statement from General George S. Patton. To win battles, you do not need weapons. You beat the soul of the enemy. So now I'm going to read the passage. So that's an interesting statement by General George S. Patton. Huh? So now I'm going to read the paragraph. Some targeted individuals are tortured with directed energy weapons, DEWs, in parentheses, that were initially formed as an experiment during World War II. This technology was designed by the U.S. government to stimulate mental illness and delusion by using electromagnetic energy. It is now being used on innocent civilians through the walls of our home. For those of us who are not targets of DEW, we need to be grateful and pray for those who suffer this way. We are human beings, and just like Jesus' apostles, we we have our I mean, we all have our limits. I'm going to read that again. The devil's twisting my tongue. We are human beings. We are human beings. And just like Jesus' apostles, we all have our limits. Without the power of the Lord working in us, we are not immune to brokenness. So now I'm going to read the scripture for today under this passage. Psalm 121, verses 1 through 2. Today I will lift my eyes into the hills for the Lord who comes to help me. So that's probably from the NIV version from this uh, devotional book So that I'm reading out of. I usually read uh, King James Version, but you can go ahead and read King James. Excuse me. I had to burp. Uh, King James Version if you want to later your own Bibles. So I'm reading from this devotional book that I just mentioned to you on uh, page uh, 57, right? Looks like 57 to me. Yeah, it is. So anyway, uh, so I would encourage any of you wonderful persecuted souls out there to buy the purchase this book called Treading on Serpents by Tina Plackinger, a daily devotional for those who are bullied, gang stopped, or harassed. So anyway, if you are interested, so anyway, I want to pray a wonderful prayer over you wonderful persecuted lambs out there in the children of God. Uh, I want to start with Psalm 121 verses 1 through 2. I'm going to start from that scripture. Uh, Father God, I pray that today that you will help your children and the persecuted lambs to lift up their eyes into the hills. Father God, for you, Lord, who comes to help your children. Father God, you are the helper of your children, Father God. You are the helper of your children. 
And Father, I thank you for helping your children when they cry out to you and when they look up into the hills for you, Lord, who come to help them because you're the only one that can help them. And for all the ones that are struggling with DEW weapons, Father God, magnetic energy weapons, directed energy weapons, in any given way, microwave cooking, Father, sleep deprivation weapons, and energy weapons of all types, Father God, I just pray that you heal these precious souls out there that are being persecuted in this way everywhere in the world, from children to adults, Father God, by magnetic energy weapon to blah, 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 blah. magnetic energy. The devil, don't take your hands off my hand. Take your hands off of my tongue, Satan. Take your hands off of my tongue in Jesus Christ's name. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over my tongue. The devil's attacking my speech. Take your hands off of my speech, Satan, in Jesus Christ's name. Father God, for all the ones that are suffering from this, Father God, that you will heal their souls. The souls of the ones that are being wounded, Father God, by these energy weapons, magnetic weaponries. Father God, and that you will heal their bodies too, Father God, from any wounds of these magnetic weapon trees. In Jesus Christ's name, with your healing power and with your healing hand and your healing sob and with the power of the Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ's name. And I pray that you will strengthen your children to endure and persevere throughout each day, including today, to deal with their persecutors, Father God, that are trying to do everything to drive them nuts, that you would give them strength not to go crazy, Father God, and not to be suicidal and not to commit suicide and not to go apes, Father God, on anyone, even though our persecutors like to do things to try to provoke us to anger to go apes on them. So anyway, Father God, I pray that you help us to have self-control, including myself. And I pray, Father God, that you would just help us to overcome, Father God, because we only can take so much, Father. We are human beings, and we're getting treated like we're not human, Father God, like we have no rights and we have no feelings by our persecutors. Father God, and we do have our limits, Father God. And Father God, we need your power working in us, Father God. We are not immune to brokenness, Father God. So I pray that you help us not to be broken down by our persecutors, Father God, and strengthen us with your power, I ask, Father, your anointing. In Jesus Christ's name, everywhere in the world, Father God. And I thank you, Father God, so much, Father God, for protecting us from mental illness, Father God, from magnetic weaponries and protecting us from radiations of infirmities from these magnetic weaponries and protecting us from all types of infirmities and mental illness and any mental illness res- resulting from being bullied and harassed and tortured, Father God, by other Afflictions by our persecutors, not just with energy weapons, Father God, but for any types of ill treatments that we face every day by our persecutors, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, because I know you can do miracles to heal those that are wounded by these direct magnetic weapon trees and do miracles to heal us in our hearts and being wounded by people that just hate us so much that would want to do this evil uh, thing to us, Father, this cruelty, this criminality against us, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, by using these magnetic weapon trees against us, Father, because I know I'm being beamed every day with magnetic weapon trees, Father God, by a persecutor, a resident that lived near me, controller, handler, supervisor perp, Father God, and my apartment building li- building where I live. So anyway, Father God, 
I just pray that you strengthen us to cope, to be able to cope and deal with the crazy stuff that we have to deal with from our persecutors that afflict us and do everything that drive us crazy, that you will help us not to go crazy, Father God, and help us not to be mentally ill whatsoever despite of the attack of our enemies and our persecutors and oppressors and the bullies and the stalkers and and the witches and the warlocks and all evil predators that come against us every day through these modern day slavery programs and outside of these modern day slavery programs throughout the world my heavenly father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and I ask that you cover all your children in the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world from children to adults including myself with the blood of Jesus Christ from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet that you will cover our spirits, souls and bodies and our lives and minds and emotions and temperaments and moods and and bodies with the blood of Jesus Christ, personalities and wills and memories with the blood of Jesus Christ and our health with the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, amen, that you will send your guardian angels to encamp around your children and the persecuted lambs and myself that are being persecuted by our persecutors everywhere in this world through these different types of modern day slavery programs throughout the world, Father, today and every day, Father God, to protect us from evil people, evil persecutors, evil oppressors, evil bullies, evil stalkers and witches, and from witchcraft attacks and from magnetic weaponry attacks that you release the blood of Jesus Christ to be the barrier between us and the we- and the weapons, Father, in Jesus Christ's name, that the blood of Jesus Christ would dispel any type of weapon that f- is formed against us, Father God, that no weapon formed against us shall not prosper, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and any tongue that rise up against us shall we condemn, Father God, and bring under the judgment, Father God, of you, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, this is the heritage that you have for your children, for your servants out there everywhere in the world. Father, thank you for your word. In Jesus Christ's name, in Isaiah 54, 17, where I'm not, I'm kind of not, I'm not quoting that scripture, but I'm kind of paraphrasing it. So, and so, Father God, thank you so much for just taking care of your people and the persecuted and the hurting the ones that's being harassed and bullied and gang stalked everywhere in the world from children to adults and just getting us through the day each day father including getting us through today despite of the evil attacks that we get from our persecutors in various ways every day in Jesus Christ's name amen Here I be-